everybody welcome to carbon's diy garage kitchen edition and today we are going to be replacing the three door switches inside the microwave because sometimes not all the time when uh, you open the door on our microwave the uh, fan turns on and it starts running the the turntable starts spinning um, like it's actually uh, trying to cook some food and the most common reason for this happening is one of the switches um, inside the microwave is broken and you need to replace it. The first thing you're going to need to do is remove some screws on the outer uh, casing of the microwave to be able to pull this off and get the panels out of the way. Usually at least one, if not more, of these screws are gonna be security type screws where it's got this little post in the middle that prevents you um, from easily getting these out. Although I found a T15 Torx driver will work just fine. And I have a, a Gen 3 ring doorbell and it comes with uh, this uh, screwdriver that actually will work just exactly in those uh, holes um, and you can remove the screw. To remove this panel, at least on this microwave, there's a ledge that the panel fits over top of at the front of the microwave, so you just need to pull it backwards and then lift it up. So this is where the magic happens in the microwave and the switches that we're talking about are these gray switches right here. But before we really do anything, um, trying to take anything apart, we need to discharge the capacitor and make sure the capacitor is safe. And that's this big thing right here. I have a uh, jumper wire like this, and I'm just gonna touch the two leads, bridge them, and that will uh, drain out the capacitor and make it safe to stick our hands in here. All right, so these three gray items are your door switches, one down here at the bottom, one in the middle, one here up at the top and they probably are positioned a little bit differently for every microwave brand but uh, in general it should be about the same we have those three switches so you just need to find them and they all come out on this microwave they all come out pretty easily and it'd probably be true for all the other microwaves being worked on there are a couple of tabs that are holding it in place and then a couple of posts that go through some holes in the switch and what I would do is take one switch out at a time and replace them. Sometimes these wires will come off easily, uh, pulling them straight back. Sometimes they need a little bit of help convincing them with a screwdriver to get them to move because they've been on there for a while. But uh, there, these uh, pulled those both off. When you go to put the new one in, it doesn't really matter um, which one goes to which prong because uh, they're just closed or open circuit switches. So just as long as you only do one at a time, you'll know which wires go to which switch. Let's talk about these switches for a second. First, how do you know if they're bad? One easy way to tell is to take them out one at a time and just see how they work. So this is the old one I took out and you can hear it clicking. And that's a sound that it would make when it's working properly. Sometimes these buttons get stuck down into the switch and it's no longer making contact the properly. Maybe the spring is broken inside or something. So if you're not getting good spring action, then that will tell you that that switch is bad. Now I'll tell you that I've already had these switches out and I've tested all three of them like that and all three of them seem to be working fine. So it's possible there's something electrically wrong inside the uh, one of these switches and maybe that's why sometimes it's working and sometimes uh, it's not working in that uh, when I open the door, the microwave is running instead of it being consistently broken. So I've decided to go ahead and replace all three switches anyway and see if that doesn't resolve the problem. Another thing to point out with these switches is that they can either be normally open, which is NO, or normally closed up here, NC. And where this uh, contact is located tells you how it's configured, NO, or NC. For the new switches that I bought, this one has a red button on it and that's the normally closed switch. And you can see that the contact is up here at the top instead of down here at the NO, normally open side. Two of the switches in the microwave are normally open switches and one of them is normally closed switch. So you need to pay attention to which switch gets pulled out of which location. So you put the proper replacement switch into that same location. I just pulled out a normally open switch, so the replacement that I install also needs to be a normally open switch, because if you get the wrong one in the wrong spot, the microwave won't work properly. Finally, how do you know which switch to get? 
Well, I don't think you'll be able to see it in the video, but there are a bunch of numbers here at the bottom. I typed these numbers into the search bar on Amazon or on Google, and that brought up the switches for the microwave that I needed. But you just wanna match up the part that's already in your microwave with the new one that you're buying. And I'll put a link in the video description for the switches that I'm using as replacement switches for this microwave. Got my replacement switch, so now I'm just gonna hook up the wires. and then put it back in where the other one came from originally. And sometimes it helps to open the door to free up the mechanism to help it slide in more easily. Snapped in place, that's it. That switch has been replaced. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two switches. And I know that this middle one on my microwave is the normally closed switch. So that one with the red button is gonna go here and the other normally open switch is gonna go down here at the bottom. All three switches are replaced. I go ahead and slide the cover back on, put those screws back in. We'll plug it in and see if it works. Well, it's all put back together and it still doesn't run on its own when the door's open, but it does actually run. So it's no worse off than it was before with the new switches installed. Is it gonna fix my problem? I don't know, but for less than $10, get three new switches and hopefully it has fixed the problem. It's a lot cheaper than going out and just buying a brand new microwave right away. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Maybe you did have it uh, broken all the time, running all the time with the door open. Hopefully this will help you find and replace those switches. If the video has been helpful or useful, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of good content coming in the future. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of when that actually happens. Thanks again for watching, and until the next video, you guys have a good one.